My name is Eileen McGovern and um, I, I live at Timor in County Fermanagh and I'm here today to talk about my husband's uncle, Pat Cassidy. Um, and Pat was born in 1915 and he died on January the 4th, 2008. Um, so he was my husband's uncle and was known in the Derry Lynn Timor area as Paddy Cassidy, or to us, as Uncle Paddy. Himself and his wife Josie settled in Lissenski in 1960 after taking over the Corner House pub. Paddy was always interested in collecting and preserving stories and artefacts from olden days, and indeed we are lucky enough to have a book of his writings, which are in part his memoirs and in part little anecdotes from his younger days. He says in this book that he wasn't a great scholar, but thankfully that didn't deter him from collating these stories. He went on to collect a huge amount of memorabilia that has been used in the past, both for inside the home and on the farm, and he very kindly donated these to the County Museum in Enniskillen when he retired from the pub business. From the pub business, he made several appearances on TV, either talking about the museum or doing the Bism dance, which proved a very popular party piece. Um, in truth, I have to say that Uncle Paddy at times. Uh, my husband, when they were younger, were embarrassed by his shenanigans, and uh, he um, would. It didn't matter what company he was in; he'd take out. He was a very tall man, and he wasn't a good dancer. But he, but he, he, he took it upon himself to dance across this broom. And in some of the stories throughout the book, which I may not be including today, he would have danced at weddings. Um, he would have gone to dance uh, bride and groom across the threshold. Uh, before the, you know, after the wedding ceremony and after the dance that would have taken place in the house afterwards, but this would have been for luck or whatever. So he wore straw a straw hat, as in the um, uh, the tradition of the mummers, um, and uh, that, in his family's estimation, maybe added to the foolishness of him. But it, <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was certainly a character, and uh, uh, in later years, in his retirement, he went round with a tape recorder, a rather large device to old pe- older people than himself, and he recorded stories of um, historical nature, m- their memoirs, etc., and those are in my possession in um, a four-track, four-track tapes, uh, which at some stage will probably get um, digitised, but at the moment they're still in a box. But uh, he, in his own words, he's not a scholar, so the excerpts that I read today from some of his books... Um, they're not brilliantly grammatically. There's certainly no punctuation, so I'm going to have to invent punctuation <laughs> to make sense of it. So I'm sure they'll be fantastic. Okay. No, so I'm going to. Uh, some of the stories I'll include today include um, their local shop, uh, which uh, it was at Connolly's Cross in Carmonahan, and that was a, a demonstration of making a living, but also domestic life and cultural and social life at the time. Um, he also, I'll read a story about him talking about the forge where the blacksmith worked. Um, I'll include uh, him talking about how he learned to, to do thatching. Um, even though it seems to be out of order, it's the way he, his ramblings uh, took place. Uh, I, he's a lovely piece on going to school in 1920 in the townland of Dramani Moor, which is halfway between Derry Lynn in Fermanagh and the hamlet of Timor en route to Belturbet, which he mentions in some of the stories. I'll also include a story on dancing in country houses, on going to the bog, and growing potatoes, and anything else that that comes in, because he intersperses his stories with little anecdotes and uh, the nicknames of places and people, etc. So uh, nothing in a harmful way. It was all, it's all done in a, in a, gentle, in a gentle fashion. Um, this is the second book of his of his writings, or I would call them ramblings, probably. But uh, I don't have the first book. Uh, we don't seem to know where it is. I hope it hasn't been destroyed. Um, in you know when his pieces were uh, gathered together after he passed away, uh, they may be in the museum, but in Enniskillen. But that's something I need to check out at some stage. <laughs>